What's going on, guys? Welcome back. We're gonna do another chaos draft because they're kind of like they're kind of like I want to say they're like underpowered cubes a little bit because you have a bunch of interactions uh, across a bunch of different Thank sets that were never meant to interact together, so it's kind of cool. Plus, if you watched the last chaos draft, be sure to check that one out on my YouTube channel uh, with the blue black deck. It's really sweet. J Link, thanks so much for this. I really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. But, um, yeah, Mike is also on his way. He was going to Starbucks to get some, uh... Wow, look at this. Amaz has 14 trophies. Amaz. Hearthstone streamer Thanks. and big timer Amaz has 14 trophies. That's crazy to me. Man. Not that he has so many, but that he's that, like, enfranchised in, like, random chaos drafts, no less. Josh, welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. Always a pleasure, my friend. But yeah, uh, Mike is on his way. He was going to Starbucks. He said the line's really long, so he'll be here shortly. I was tempted to wait to start this, but I don't think he's going to care. So besides that, if we take cards like King Crab, he doesn't really know what they do anyway. So, Oh, and of course we open... Wait. Oh my god. I was like, did we enter the wrong queue? Nope, it's Chaos Draft. Premium card, one and zero approximately. Okay, so... Alright. Um. Wow, that was really weird. I feel like Clear the Stage is probably going to be better in this format because unlike Ravnica Allegiance, you're not restricted to Orzhov or Rakdos. So you can actually play this in any deck and it's probably a lot easier to get. Because in the in Ravnica Allegiance, like, there's not a lot of four power creatures in those those two guilds. Whereas here, it seems like it's going to be a lot easier to, um, to, to, to trigger this. Plus it's one color, which is nice because I really don't want to take a two color card in this first pack. I'm going to take Clear the Stage. I think it's good. Anchor to the Aether. Put a creature on top of its owner's library. Scry one. That actually seems very good. And I had very good luck with the um, with the previous blue black deck we played. Separatist Void Mage is nice. It's I mean it's four mana instead of three, but it's also returning a creature, not just a creature they control, which is interesting because that's how it used to be. I might have to I might have to sneeze. I've wanted to always sub, but never had the finance. I'm so good, dude. Thank you so much, Jaylink. Really appreciate it, buddy. Really, no uh, no worries at all, dude. I really appreciate the support. Thank you so much for coming back and... Lightning Javelin, also very good. Three damage and scry one. Bounce a dude, scry one, or just bounce a dude. I like all three of these. Man. I really like blue-black a lot, though. Ugh. I'm going to take the Anchor to the other. I think it's better than the Void Mage. And Lightning Javelin I could see making a really good argument for, but... Oh, I like I, I actually really liked Pristine Talisman in the previous draft that we did. I thought it was very, very good. Um, I do like Artillerize. Especially because it's any target. You can sack an artifact or a creature. It's pretty easy to do. Um, Guess Verdict, also nice. I think Pristine Talisman is very, very good. Because... You're actually going to get a lot of expensive cards in this format because it's not... It's it's sets... It's all the sets. So, like... All right, what do we got here? Cabal Trainee. Hapless. Yeah, this is... this Like, sets like Judgment and, and Torment and Odyssey. Uh, not Odyssey. Is it Odyssey? Odyssey? OT, yeah, it's OTJ, right? Um, They feel very insular. Like, it's very... A lot of these cards are just not... They're all threshold-based. They're not good that good on their own. Did you guys ever do the Firecat, Firecat Blitz before? I also got the uh, CFB shirt on. Also, it's uh, it's one of the it's one of our the one of the flag shirts, and there's a lot of green here, so you can see right through it. So that's that's good times. And for those who don't, know, I have written for CFP for like a year because I started to stream full time, but um, still love those guys. So good times. I'm just gonna take the trainee. There's nothing in that pack I care about. Endless sands. That's whatever. 
Guest verdict definitely a let card of mine. What's a let card? The depths player never sees that coming in Legacy. Oh, you corrected it. You said pet. All right, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. Yeah, guess. And you're like, oh, also take one. Dummy. Um, I also miss Magic TV. Before we left, we actually had a hard time doing Magic TV because we could we could rarely find a third person. Ben Sec was busy because he was always like he was working and he was literally just moving back to Australia or San Francisco somewhere. He was moving somewhere that it wasn't convenient for them to. Um, I guess it wouldn't be San Francisco, but it was somewhere that wasn't convenient to record. Um, I kind of just like strategic planning here. And then there was no one else like in the area because I would I would always phone in. It would be me and Andy, but like we it was very hard. Um, it, it was very hard to find a third. So a hunt a week is really nice here. Frost Lynx is fine. I mean, we do want to have some creatures to to clear the stage with. This card is probably not going to ever make our mark make our deck. What does this guy do when it enters the battlefield with the top three cards? No. We're just going to take Frost Lynx, I guess. You like Negate? I like Negate, actually. I can take a Negate. I like to Frost Lynx, but I think Negate is probably main deckable in, in this format. I think Mike just got here. Spell Rupture, unless they pay X, where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. This is a 2-2 two, two for 3. When it comes blocked, they discard a card. Uh, when this guy dies, return it to your hand. I actually think this is pretty sweet. I don't care about this guy. Whenever it de deals damage, return it to your hand. I don't want to re replay that guy a million times. I'll just take this Mortis Strider, because it's actually pretty sweet to, like, if we get any sacrifice effects or anything. Uh, hey boy. Plague Rusalk is actually pretty good, especially with the Mortis Strider, maybe. It's not a... Uh, <laughs> can we just flash this? <laughs> oh, God. I'm taking this, because I think the upside is way cooler than... Hey, Humungulus is actually not terrible. Alright, I'll take a Humungulus. Humungulus what? Uh, this is regenerate creature draw a card. I actually like this. This is okay. If there are two more, also regenerate each other creature you control. Stratus Walk is also nice because you draw a card. I'm going to take the Stratus Walk. Putting a Stratus Walk on a Humongulus is actually pretty good. And it just draws you a card. Here he comes. Here comes old Starbucks McGee. Uh, my drink was the line took me 35 minutes personally I feel like if, if I'm ever in a place and it's going to take me like 25 minutes just to get a beverage I'd probably just grab a Diet Coke from the 7-Eleven and save myself $4 but you know what do you got, whatever you got to do none of these cards are any good this guy is, uh, it can't attack unless the defending player is poisoned, so probably never going to attack. And the other one was counter target spell if its controller is poisoned, and I was like, alright, never going never gonna to do anything with that either. Oh, this guy's actually fine. 2-1 two for 2 with Afflict is good, and Prowess. Nah, this guy's garbage. Do ten for four. <laughs> That's what Papa likes. Uh, it's, no, Papa does not like that. Why not? Why doesn't Papa like that? Is what you're asking me? Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Uh, Bobby Butters approved. Bobby Butters approved. <laughs> you can't start this Bobby Butters meme already, man. This is a two-two for four, and when it enters the battlefield, it kills a damaged creature. I don't know how easily it is can to deal damage, but. 
What does this guy do? Two one. Any of the kinship cards, you're also just like, eh. Nothing's gonna be kinship, and no, this is probably just the best walk. option. What? There's an island walk, boy. Okay, it's a one one for. Oh, mutilate seems fantastic. I'll mutilate things, if you know what I mean. I don't. Yeah, mutilate seems gas. What does Pitiless Plunderer do? Whenever another creature you control dies, create a color. Why can't this guy create one when he dies? Why does it have to be other creature? Always with the birthday bits. Nice. Happy birthday, Bobby Butters. Happy birthday. Did they give you your Starbucks drink for free because it's your birthday? No, they didn't. It was very rude of them. Felipe got me this lemonade from Starbucks or from uh, Chick-fil-A, and I actually don't think it's diet. It's still very good, though. Um, don't care about you. Four mana. As long as you have the city's blessing, it's a three. It's actually not bad. It's fine, dude. <laughs> That's my impression of Mike. Yeah, I'll just take this guy. I think it's better than Vampire Revenant, and I also think it's better than this four drop, so. Uh, five, five, defender for three. When it becomes the target of spell or ability, sacrifice it. And yeah, not really in the market for that. Narcolepsy seems great. Yeah, it's definitely just narcolepsy. This deck is interesting, but it seems okay. T2 Hexproof for four. Phantasmal Bear. Warpath Ghoul. I might just take this because it's cheap, and I don't really feel like another four drop. But Oh, this is actually... Wait, I'm combining my four and five drops. Yeah, that's better. Oh, that looks much better. All right, yeah, I'll just take dummy. this guy then. What did you say to me? Called you dummy. Wow. Third creature don't understand it's surveil. I like that. I also like four five for five. It also helps us clear the stage. Don't care about this. I would love to take Fine Broker, but we're a little too deep here. Oh, look at that. There's a birthday look at the birthday cake bit in the in the tip jar. Oh. From Mike's B Day. <sighs> yeah, I'm just gonna take Dowser of Lights here. Yeah, we could splash Nephilim off of the off the Gateway Plaza. I think I'm just going to take the card that's definitely better for our deck. Nephilims are basically impossible to cast. Thank you. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for entertaining me. I've been really stressed lately. Oh, get it and gone. I've been really stressed lately with college things, and I know you have been down a bit too. Hang in there, man. Thank you so much. Kelsey, thank you so much, Rim. I really appreciate it. You are awesome, dude. Thank you for the resub. I'm going to take this to Miracle Duck because this is a fantastic pickup for this deck. Just gorgeous. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. They're only impossible to cast if you don't believe. That's true. That's a good point. I had not considered that. Dramatic reversal. Untap all non-land permits you control. Sky skiff seems good. What's animation module going to do? Whenever one of our counters are put under permit you control, you may pay one if you do. Choose target permanent or player... We have no ways to give plus one, plus one counters, right? Otherwise, I'd like that a lot. Dramatic Reversal, the combo card. I kind of want to take it just in case we get something, but, like, we'd only have one thing if we did, so I'm just going to take the Sky Skiff, because I think it's probably fine. Sky Skiffy. 
Sky Skiffy's in flight. Afternoon delight. You like that song? I think Sky Skiff would be a good brand name for a peanut butter. What is it? What are you? What are you trying to? What are you trying to like convey with your name? Have some delicious Sky Skiffy. You know, kind of like that other company. That doesn't. That's not. That's not answering what you try to convey, though. You're just answer, You're just repeating the name and saying a slogan. What are you trying to convey? Like, what are you trying to make me feel with Sky Skiff with the name? Wish me luck on getting an internship. Engineering is hard, and it looks like I might not get. Oh, which might mean no job. Oh. oh, hold on. I gotta pick something real quick. Thank you. Uh, it's probably this fat bird because it's a two-two, <laughs> and a creature gets plus two plus two in flying when it comes into play. We're not gonna it's play. A very it, brown bird. Don't talk about people's Thank brown you. birds, Michael. <laughs> not appropriate i'm gonna take this a river darter chad bradbury thanks so much for the gifted subs buddy really appreciate Thank it you. welcome welcome all chad bradbury god what a what a hero god he's the hero we all need all of us we Thank could all you. use a little chad bradbury in our lives i'm just gonna take the hand of emrakul it's still a big fat Thank daddy you. okay so what are we talking about uh, anyway, don't mean to bring y'all down. See you on the YouTubes. Kelsey, thank you so much, man. I really hope you do get an internship. I seriously do. Like, I know that feeling, and I would not wish it on anyone, buddy. Whoa. Let's go deep. We're not going deep. You might pick up a tinker. Still able to splash Police Hawk if we get lucky enough to get one. That is true. That is true. Oh, Police Hawk. That's an old meme. That is... <laughs> <laughs> that is an old meme. Put a negative one negative counter on target creature. You can untap or tap. This card is actually great. So is go for the throat, though. I really can't think go for the throat is not the pick here. I'd also not mind Morbid Plunder Thank coming you. back. Or Serum Raker. Through an air with a gifted sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You guys are great. Man, look at the love in the chat today. Now I'm just going to take the go for the throat. We get some good creatures up in here. Uh, sacrifice another creature, regenerate vampire warlord. Four two for five, huh? Well, see you later. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but he's a vampire. Look, this is a two five for five, and so is this one. Only this guy is hex proof. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the duress. I think. Wow, I wish I could take this Hellrider. Oh, Seagate Oracle is great. Oh, there's a police hawk, though. We're not white at all, though. We can't play this police hawk. Oh, man. Oh, man. I feel so bad for letting this go. <laughs> go for the goat. <laughs> I got to go for the oracle, though. Oh, man. If I come visit next year, do I get to do a 15-hour stream? Chad, if you come visit next year, 100%, dude. 100%. Uh, Scob Goliath, 6. Uh, it's additional cast cost to cast this spell. XL2 creature cards from your graveyard with Trample. 6-9 uh, is pretty huge. He's a pretty good boy, but I don't really want to you gotta set him up. Yeah, you got to set him up, and you got to knock him down. Might just be Silent Departure. We took Ghoul Razor in the previous one, but I don't think we have that many zombies here, if any. I don't think we have any zombies here. That's a skeleton. Skeletons aren't scary so much as just funny. Whenever I see a skeleton, I'm like, you look ridiculous. Even if they're spooky, scary skeletons? Yeah, because then they're all like, they always have their arms up like this. Hmm. You know how... Hmm. I'm gonna think about that. Let me uh let me consider that. Hand of Emrakul. Are we gonna play this nine drop? Maybe. Annihilator one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Wait, can I finish? Knows. Can I finish? Six. Seven. seven eight. eight. No, please, please. Nine. <laughs> oh, that's a good office meme. 3-5 with Death Touch is pretty good with Delve. Disdainful Stroke is also good. I think I'm just taking this Mystic of the Hidden Way. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. See that a skeleton's creating propaganda so they lull you into a false sense of security. Don't trust it. It's actually a solid point. I wouldn't want to actually... Uh... That's how the skeleton army wins, I think. Because then you, you're like, oh, well, look, they're not that dangerous. 5-5 uh, five, five for 6. It can't be blocked... 
I mean, that's fine. Like, it's just a 5-5 five, five for 6. Colorless, like, it sucks because, again, here, we're, again, we're talking about, wait, does this add? <gasps> oh, the tech. This is also just a 1-3 for 2, which is nice. Target opponent exiles two cards from their hand and loses two life. This is also not bad. Interesting. Because we can definitely add a colorless with this guy. It makes me sad that you can't add wastes as basic lands to your deck. Like, a lot of times there's no reason for it. But in formats like this, there is a reason for it. <laughs> and it is a basic land, so it's kind of a really weird precedent. Okay. Target creature comes with 4-4. Four, four. Not bad. Whenever you cast a spell during an opponent's turn, you may return a creature you control to its owner's hand. That's interesting. I actually like this three, this two one that destroys a forest or a tree folk, but it, that was a lot better in uh, in Lorwyn, obviously. Uh, then return clash with an opponent, then return target creature to its owner's hand. If you win, you may put that creature on top of its owner's library instead. Oh, that seems great. I'm on board for that. Have we sang happy birthday from Mike? Not yet. We're still waiting. This Did we open King Crab? No, unfortunately. None of these cards are any good. I'll take the Daru Sanctifier. Oh, the Serum Maker did come back. That's pretty nice. Acre Wellspring would be great if we had a way to sacrifice it, but I'm just going to take the Serum Breaker. This is a Cancrix. This is an armored Cancrix. Good for it. Are you a Cantcrix or a Cancrix, Michael? I don't know. You doing okay? Yeah. You just look like you're in a little slump, my dude. You're in a little slump. Okay, well, that's fair. I took a this police hawk. Sherman slump. A Sherman slump? Mm hmm. Is that a Sherman clump reference? That is. Wow, that's, you went deep there. That is something right there. Yeah, all right. That card's okay. All right, that's actually playable. We got to make some cuts now, though. We have a lot of bouncing spells. Probably put it in the gate on the board. How dare you? Then you're going to get wrecked against a Planeswalker and feel really stupid. You dummy. Band on the run. All right, so I think this is still fine as a one three for two, and if we end up tapping things down with the talisman, that's good. I could see boarding in the negate. Watch you draft police talk. Yeah, we got him. I don't think we're gonna play him because we only have planes here, but we, we got him. I don't think we care about Stratus Walk, although putting it on like. Umungulus or like Hand of Emrakul at some point. I think we're just going to play this. I kind of like just having this dude in the deck. I think it's cool. All the cards that bounce things are like, this puts it on top. This is two bounces. Um, this bounces. This bounces and puts it on top maybe. You can probably cut the 2-2 two -two Hexproof Flyer. Why? I want to twelve creatures. I want to go down. I don't think we. I don't think we cut creatures here. I think we can cut Stratus Walk because you don't need more flyers. I mean, we have. We only need one cut here. Sky skip. Mm, it's still like cutting a creature. This guy's also like a three drop. I'm gonna take some eye meds. We need one cut, Michael. What's it going to be? I, I voiced my opinion. I wasn't listening to you. Wow. Mm. Mm. Probably cut the wings of Ellisville. Making a guy 4-4 four, four is not really super exciting. It can just win sometimes, but... I'm just going to go 8-8. Eight, eight. I mean, we have a lot more blue cards, but we also have Mutilate, so... And we only need one blue for all these spells. So I'm just... I'm okay with... It. I'm alright with that. You cut Mutilate? You're a maniac. I was actually thinking about that. Because, like, it kills your dudes, too, you know? Does it? 
You tell me more about killing my dudes, Michael. I don't really need to, but I'd like you to. Too bad. Too bad what? Just too bad. Oh my god, I hate it. Like when you first open a new one, it doesn't come out, so you have to like flick it to, to get the drops to come out. But until then you're like sitting there holding it up with your eye for like four minutes. What's going on? Would you like you want would you like yes? Did the game Are we stuck? Well, my clock is going down, but it's <clears throat> stuck here, so. Oh, the whole stream is down. Well, that explains it. <laughs> All right. I imagine the internet has or will gone down, will gone down soon, so. Yep. All right. Well, good times. Wow, that just literally. Uh, this is awkward. Yep. The power is not out, so that's interesting. Oh, looks like we're back up. Oh my god. This is like the third time this has happened in like in like a week, man. It's pretty frustrating. Is that a little bug the flower? What? I will play first. If they'll let me. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. Look at this. Look at look at a Mortis Strider. He never dies. Me neither. That's cool. Here, no picture. Are we good? Can you guys see us? Salil, can you try to refresh? See if that works. All right, we are back. Everyone says we're good. Oh, what a good. Oh, 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 this is actually oh, oh. drying my face out. Drying my face out. Are you just going to repeat everything I say in a weird voice? No. Cause that's where I feel like that's where your routine's going today. Maybe. All right. Well, I can always see you. Well, this is getting weird. Like every day I wake up and I start streaming, and my nose feels like super dry and itchy, and I always feel like I'm like I'm like kind of coke fiend. And someone's in the and then the comments is gonna be like, God, Frank's really rubbing his nose a lot. Is he just like? But like, it's just really like I think like it's like I need to like. I don't know what it is, but like my nose is always like itchy and it feels weird. I don't know. Maybe you should stop doing cocaine. Okay. Well. <laughs> you ever think of that one? It's never crossed my mind. Hmm. But to be fair, I could stop whenever I want, Michael. <laughs> cocaine. Burn, 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 burn. Also, we drew the pris pristine talisman, which not only will draw us a. Uh, Gain us a life every turn, but we can tap a guy now. Which is gas. Pristine, more like gasoline, am I right? Eh, yeah, sure. The answer is yes. I like when there were games where I would just tap this just to gain the life, but now I'm just like, I can tap it and, uh, and actually use it here. Now I don't even want to tap it for this. I just want to play Mortis Strider. Mortis Strider. Use a Night Moisturizer. Is that actually a, is that a legit suggestion? Because I could definitely do that. It definitely does. It does have a. It has like a dry. Like my nose doesn't feel dry, but it definitely feels like it would be like a dry. Oh, I was gonna have to top this, tap this guy, but then I forgot. So I'm just gonna read. I'm just gonna kill this guy and get him back. This is the guy blowing the dart, right? Yeah. All right. 
This is the guy who blows the dots. Why are you like this? That's a big boy. That's a bigums McBoyums. Don't be a land. It's going to be a Demir Aqueduct. It's kind of worse. All right, let's tap down this doodles, McSchnoodles. This is an easy trade. I'll just trade my spell with elemental or eternal with with this three with this four three, because this guy's just coming right back. But it's up to you how sexy you want to be. Well, preferably it'd be extremely, but um, you know, oh, they're are they coming at me? Looks like they are coming at you, bro. Are you listening or what? Remember that jam? I do remember that jam. That was a little Jimmy Eat World. Look at that. We just traded our 2-1 for their 4-3. What a deal. Sing it back. Also, guys, I bought some new... Because I really love my Prescription Club Masters. I bought some some tortoise... Something... Some Tortoise Clubmaster sunglasses. So now I feel like I have them again, which is really nice. But they're polarized, so I actually could not see what spell my my opponent was casting when I put them on. Uh, create a 1-1. One, one. Sure. So this is just your typical 3-mana 2-2 two, two that also makes a 1-1. One, one. They have one in, uh, in Ixalan. And this guy was the... Yeah, sure, this is all fine. You're, gonna have, you're having a lot of guys here. Can I mutilate? Mutilate would be gas here. That's not. That's not it. That is not a mutilate, but it does bounce a guy. Hidely ho, Michael. Probably just gonna bounce this three three and. You just call me a hidely ho. You know what you did. Sing it back. Whoa, 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 whoa. I forgot whoa, to tap a guy. Whoa. No, I didn't. I didn't want to tap this because I want to be able to block if they attack with any of these guys. And I'm just going to bounce this thing. I even said that. You're not even listening to me. Correct. Oh, that's just rude. Thank you. Happy birthday, Mike. Good luck, Frank. Those are, wow, man, that's a good combination. Oh, that's not bad, but I don't really want it right now. But I don't really want to put it in the graveyard either, so, yeah, we'll just keep it. I think what does that fun. even do? Oh, my God, I can't deal with this guy. I guess we'll find out. I guess you will, because we're going to draw it. Right off the tip, sadate on the tippy top. I mean, our deck is not really doing much right now. We really need some, some beef. Hey, where's the beef? So what's for dinner? This is not as good as our previous blue black deck, but it's still doing all right. I would really love to. This is target creature gets neg three, neg three. If you control a creature with power four or greater, you can return up to one creature card from your graveyard to your hand. So, unfortunately, that's not triggering here. But too clever, four smart. Thanks so much, Lisa, buddy. Really appreciate it. I don't know if I said that. I did read the message. I don't know if I said that though. So. Now I have this Jimmy Eat World song stuck in my head, and I don't really know why. Are you listening? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I'm actually going to turn this back on, but I'm going to aim it towards the center now. I want a little coolness. I just don't want it right in my 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 idly O's. 
Ideally, yo. So once we tap this, though, then they have freedom to attack with both of these guys. So we take four. If we tap nothing, they probably just attack with these two. Yeah, that's fine. And we're still at 22 life. Like, I'm not really scared of this, this board. Oh, wow. Super aggro. This is super aggro. Okay. You can't attack with Scion Summoner too, right? Okay, well. And the sweetness of begins learn with Michael B. Ooh. Three, four, five, six, seven. That's a lot of damage, but I mean, we gain a life every turn. So in six turns, we're just basically fine again. Oh God, there's a lot of mana you're tapping here. What is this? What even is this, man? Lava Lanch for three? That'd be random. Oh, it's just a 3-5. So if we bounce this guy, you just can't actually even cast it again. Aqua Stance Rider, Hand of Emrakul. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. I'm actually probably going to keep the Hand of Emrakul. We need two more lands to cast it, and I think that's actually fine. And we can put this guy back on top of their library, so they're just going to draw it again next turn. He's that's, a beefy boy. That's pretty good. Also, we can sacrifice for Eldrazi spawn rather than paying its casting cost, so... Uh, oh, yeah, we got plenty of those. Once you get more, we're good. We're good to go. Frank Mike and Mike Mike. <laughs> uh, yep, you can stay on top. Uh, do you wish to put the target on top of Sunder Slaver? Yes, I do. Oh, we didn't gain a life. God. I do, I do, I, I do. I'll say, I'll say, I'll say. Now you're going to lose it one life. I'm going to lose it one. Yeah, I'm going to lose because of the one life. So now we are going to tap this because if they attack with just this guy, we'll block. And if they attack with this guy, we'll kill it. So. And you didn't forget to gain a life this time. What you? Well, I have to activate it with this because it's the only colorless source we have. You still didn't forget? That's true. I guess that does count. Uh, yeah, I got nothing else to do, so I'm just going to prevent two here. Look at how much work this Mortis Strider is doing, man. He's always taking one for the team. So we know they have Delvey Boy in one of their card, and they drew the Delvey Boy. Hey Mike, who's your favorite Mike that isn't you? It's like asking me to choose one of my children. Hmm. Okay. That's obnoxious, but fine. There's a two for one. Oh, that was a good one. One, two, three, four. We can play this guy. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. It's like it's funny because if this guy was around, we'd have the city's blessing, which would mean this is an easy block. Actually, it's still an easy block. We just go. No, I don't want to. I don't want to trade with this guy though. If you're 17, you can just take some damage. I can do whatever I want. Four or five. So we can actually, they can play the eight mana guy again. Okay. Did you answer the who is your favorite Mike that isn't you question? I can't. <laughs> then I have to betray one of them. So if I pick one, then they all know that I prefer that person, and then it's going to hurt feelings. You know? I don't understand. Okay. So, again, we can go one, two, three. Play Morty. And now we should have the City's Blessing, which makes us a three, four. But this guy becomes a four, That's three. That's a weird City's Blessing. Yeah. But if you zoom in, it's a real City's Blessing. Huh. One, two, three, four, six, seven. We're still two away from this guy, but I'm okay with it. 
This guy should have like prowess or something. Just being a two-two flyer for four with hexproof is not great, but whatever. I mean, we can still double block here, and we only lose. It's like trading these two because this guy's always. This guy's doing so much work. Look at all those birds. I do have a lot of birds right now. Yeah, I'll just take... Um, no. This is... This, I'm never going to take any damage ever because of this stupid Mortis Strider. Sure. Why would you call him stupid? I don't know. He's really wonderful. Alright, well, that's good. Actually, it's funny how obnoxious our deck is right now. Mystic of the Hidden Way. Make me feel some hidden way. And if they attack with this 2-2, we're just going to totally block with this Avid, Avid, this Avid Fleet Wing. I almost called it Avid Fictionaut because the, it's literally AV and then an F word afterwards. I was like, we're just going to block with this Avid Fictionaut. Nope, that's a that's not the same thing at all. Yeah, close enough. If there's a streamer edition of Secret Wars, who would you want to fight against first? Um, which Secret Wars? The one from the 80s? Is that relevant? Well, yeah, there's multiple different... There was a lot of different Secret Wars series. I uh, basically just asking you what streamer would you fight. Okay, well, I'm just going to take three here and then clear the stage of this guy because... Because now it's an obnoxious gentleman. Attack with both my guys. Man, I love Mangucci so much. He's definitely one of my favorite dudes. He makes legacy videos. Hey, welcome back. When you got another legacy video. <laughs> I fucking love Andrea so much, dude. And he stepped into the meme, which makes it awesome. Oh, he's... Yeah, he's he definitely stepped into the meme. Oh, Narcolepsy's pretty good here. So, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. We can't do everything. I do want to start flipping this guy to get in some damage. Welcome back to another legacy video. Plus he's the nicest dude ever. Flip it up or flip it out. Flip it to do Dave. Uh, let's just flip this guy up. And then we'll also play Morty. Man, this netcaster spider is really holding down the fort against our 3 4. See, look, like we have a 3 4, a 2 2, and a 3 2. Like, it's really hard to trigger this. All you have to have is like, one creature with power 4 or more, and like, it's. Just ain't happening. Oh, wow. B. Aggressive. B. E. I have no idea what they have here. It's hard because you don't. There's no way to know. All right, we're going to take six, and they might just be trying to be aggressive because we have a guy on board and we have a pristine talisman, but they only drew one card, so it's probably something either absolutely bonkers, like plus two. It's probably like Trumpet Blast or something. Burr, 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 burr. Yeah, Ranger's Gall is actually fine here. Land? All right, we're one away from this guy, so any land or any spell is actually just perfect here. And we can also go one, two, three for Strider, and we can play. Keep, we can play clear the stage, but like if we play Hand of Emerald in the in the coming turns, it's just better to. Um, yeah, we're gonna do it on this guy because if we do clear the stage, we're gonna kill like one of the three threes. So, and I feel like we're just actually way ahead. Jenna with the resub, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. He told me I don't know what enriching meant. <laughs> is that true? That's a real interaction? That's hilarious. Wow, our deck is so grindy, dude. I can't believe we won this with this game. Not because like I felt like we were behind, but it just didn't feel like we were doing anything. We Tur gave up. Turns like town turns out we were doing things. You didn't really see anything for negate, right? Most of the things were Not creatures. really, yeah. None, none of their spells were like super oppressive. 
Yeah, everything seems fine here. Two, I could see bringing just another 2-5 against all their nerds. Also, this guy is just a 5-5 five five that triggers clear the stage. I mean, it doesn't... It can't attack because they'll never be poisoned, but... A 5-5 five five blocker against what seems to be their deck is actually... Yeah. Doesn't seem terrible. See that. Um, yeah, I don't think you need the other 2-5, though. Maybe this guy's just better. I can see bringing just that guy in. I'm gonna cut Dave and Fleetwing. I think that guy was pretty rough. Do you get to pick what packs you want? Oh god, no. That'd be insane. Uh, I would just be like, Ultimate Masters, Ultimate Masters, Ultimate Masters. Wow, you're gonna take four Ultimate Masters? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna mulligan this hand. I'm gonna keep this hand. This is a snapperino. I'm gonna keep this hand. Do 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 do. God, I hate when I'm out of juice. So here was my original plan. These are my old club masters, right? My prescription ones, and they are black and silver, and I really liked that. But the problem is that most of the club masters I found, the sunglass versions, are gold. And you can either get the golden black or the golden tortoise, but I like the silver, so... Uh, I, my plan was to take the prescription lenses, or the, the polarized lenses, and put them in these. But they're not the same size. Like, the, the, the sunglass version is significantly larger than the prescription lens version. And it's I was like, oh no, my plan didn't work. So I'll just be wearing these like normal, but still. Today I learned. T-I-L... What are you going to do with all your your regular glasses? I, I don't know. They become useless. Well, so do you. Got them. No, I didn't become useless. <laughs> I was born this way. We meet again finally for the first time. Glad we were finally going to this awesome relationship. Oh, God, am I going too fast? I don't want to trigger you in any way. Well, I think we're okay, but I'll let you know. I'll be sure to keep our open lines of communication so we can... We can establish any boundaries that might need to be set up. Oh, wow. Double black seems bad. They do not seem to be heavy black at all. Donating old glasses is a good idea. I feel weird because I'm like, but these are these are expensive. These were like $500. Oh, yeah. They're, they're done. Um, I get to keep one of these. Clear the stage. Yeah, this is awkward. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, well, that's about the end. Unless they're going to reanimate something here. Like what? I, not a Rangers guy, that's for sure. Yeah, this is game's over. Well, our deck surprisingly cleaned up in our in our first game versus not doing anything in the second game, but here we are, so. This is a bad use of mana. I should have uh, played Pristine Talisman and then flipped, but you never know what's going to happen, so. One, two, three, four, five. We have seven mana. We're already so close to Hand of Emrakul and our opponent's stuck on two swamps. Well, Pristini Flippini. Is that your Italian boyfriend's name? No. That's my professor's name. Oh, old Pristini Flippini. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't know Pristini Flippini? I mean, if we whirlpool or whelm this guy, it's just not... Yep, we'll keep that on top. Okay, so that's just they're locked out of the game. Because they have fertile grounds, which means this guy going on top. And then we're literally drawing... Anchor to the Aether, which puts them on top again. So, like, they're just literally locked out of plays. Happy birthday, Mike. <laughs> Who is my least favorite Marvel character? God, you're asking the tough questions here. See, the thing is, like, there's a bunch of characters I don't care about and I don't think about. And I imagine one of those would be my least favorite character, but I just don't think... I don't have an actively least favorite where I... Like, 
where I actively dislike them as a character. Probably one of the X million X Men. Um, I mean that's not. Yeah, I mean that's not inaccurate. I'll just put this on top so we can get the thing. What's your mutation? Uh, I can make my hands kind of warm. I <laughs> I fart uncontrollably, but my farts are made of gold. Wow. Well, what does that even mean? I don't even know how that's possible. Gold flakes just. Pfft. Yeah. Gross. Is it gross? Yes. Or is it not gross? No, it's gross. I keep getting these emails where um, they're from like spam like stream stuff like where they're like here's how your viewers can donate more often even if they don't have the cash and I'm like if my viewers don't have the cash I don't really want them to donate more often and it's just like I wrote you a little while ago when I found your channel while browsing, browsing through Twitch. And it's, it reminds me of those email, those, those YouTube emails where they're like, Hey, I found your video on YouTube and it's really good. I think your video should be getting more views. And it's just like this generic message about like, Oh really? You think Ravnica draft number 46 should be getting more views? Wow. Thanks. You really understand the nuance of that video, I'm sure. What if they did? Every time I think Wolverine is overrated, I realize that I really like Wolverine as a character, and I, I have no issue with it. I'm just like, yeah, but it's a really good... He's a really great character. He has a lot of depth and backstory, and it's just... Come on, bub. Like, yeah, I mean, I, I want to be I, I want to be like, man, Wolverine is so overrated, but, like, in terms of character, like, he's really not, because he's, like, very good. He's a great, well-defined, uh, deep, rich character. Like, he's got a, a consistent personality... He's very powerful. He has a, a painful backstory. Like, Wolverine as a character is just great. And I, I wanted to hate... Like, it, it gets to the point where, like, you see how much a character is like. Like, Deadpool, right? Deadpool is, is a character I think is overrated. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, so I think you're confusing. I think people are confusing overrated with oversaturated. I do think Wolverine and Venom and Deadpool are oversaturated. I don't think Wolverine and, and Venom and Deadpool are overrated. Like, I don't think they're rated higher than they are. I think they're just, there's just a lot of them. Beep, beep. That's the sound of the sky skiff. What are your thoughts on Spawn? I stopped reading Spawn literally in the 90s, so I actually have no thoughts on Spawn. Spawn came from a, a time for me that was very... Um, it was a comic time that was like heavily saturated. Oh, like that... Not not saturated. Yeah, it was saturated. Saturated with like all these independent character creations. And um, everyone was trying to like come up with the next cool big thing, like specifically Image, image Comics. And there were so many guns and muscles and... So, like, actually, that whole time period has a very bad memory for me. Like, a, a, it, it was really bad for the comic industry in general. And I think it put a lot of people off comics. And it actually left me feeling like comics were just kind of this, like, get-rich-quick thing. Where, like, you're not putting any effort into the story or the characters. You're just trying to, like, sell the biggest, flashiest book. And so that actually kind of tainted my view of a lot of the comics that came out at that time. I do remember Pit. I remember the Max. I remember Shadowhawk, the Savage Dragon. I remember all of those. Because I collected them. Youngblood, Brigade, Cyberforce, Wetworks. Oh, oh my god, god no, dude. Youngblood. Oh, God. No. Dude, I remember all of those books. Because they were so hot for, like, the longest time. For, like, five, six years. They were the hottest books on the planet. And then... People began to be like, well, there's not really much substance here. Like, they're new and flashy, and and, and it's all very uh, exciting, but there's no substance here. Um, yeah, but bro, look at all the guns and muscles, okay? I actually do like DC a lot. Um, my problem is I'm just a bigger Marvel fan. I've always been a bigger Marvel fan, but I love Green Lantern. I love Martian Manhunter. 
thing about the guns and they, everybody had pouches everywhere and they would have like two belts around their waist and like a belt on each leg and you're like why do you have so many fucking belts what are you doing with all these belts man well Warren Ellis is just great so I do not blame you for that banana banana this could actually be very good. Are you ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Better have too many belts than letting your pants fall and showing people your wee wee. You get prison for that. Wow. But the problem is the belts are just on the legs and like the. Here's this is my arm belt and this is my calf belt. Nope, not doing that. One, two, three, four. Are you going to explode? Maybe. <laughs> you all right, man? Are you doing okay? I will choose this guy. I feel like we're doing okay on this board. What is this deck we even drafted? We are just actually crushing it. Good, good dirtles dot McGovernment. Good dirtles dot McGovernment. <laughs> I'm going to actually title the YouTube video of that. Chaos draft number six. Good dirtles dot McGovernment. God, Satania Woodridge is just great. Draw two cards. All the kicker spells are so great because they, they scale really well. You're like, oh, I can play this as a 1, 4, and 3 if I need it. Or I can just play it and draw two cards. Is there an Elk Tears in the chat? What? Oh, I didn't even see Morgan either. Man, Morgan and Elk Tears in the chat just randomly popping up. This deck is not as sweet as the other Blue Blacklist, for sure. Um... It has, yeah, that's exactly it. The quality is way lower, but it did kind of come together, and I don't actually understand how. Um, so we can actually attack with everything here. I'm oh, sorry, what? Are you making fun of me? I would never do that to you. Okay. Frank figured out kicker. Yeah, yeah. I just figured it out right now. It just occurred to me. Wow, this is just a chum block. Do you have like a plus? Okay, well, see you later. Welp, see you later. All right, well, our hand is pretty stacked against anything that happens, so I'm not really... I didn't even see Elk Tears say anything. Oh, it says greetings from LAX. Oh, Elk Tears, are you on your home, buddy? Why aren't I subbed right now? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. You might as well kill yourself. No, that's not funny. I don't like saying that. I don't like when people say it. Um, You might as well uninstall twitch uninstall twitch has anyone here installed twitch raise your hand <laughs> well, on your phone the app come on do you not call it installing right that's gotta be in that's installing right i guess well, what's the other word for it george is getting upset thank you uh can be blocked as long as you control no other creatures okay when it deals combat damage to a player excel the top card of your library in a face down pile and manifest okay whatever i don't care about that none of that is exciting Morgan with the gifted sub. <laughs> you are awesome, buddy. Thank you so much. Oh, man. Elk tears. Unbelievable. Big gulps, huh? Well, All right. Well, see you later. I like that there's multiple people who are, like, fighting over who's going to gift sub first. That's amazing. What a time to be alive. All right. So, yeah, we're just going to pass here. We don't have to do anything fancy. Wow, the best part about this binding drone in this match is that I can literally crew my sky skiff with it all, all game. What a time to be alive. Theoretically, we could have actually played this and attacked with this. Um, but then they just go, like, block with one guy here, and then they still have a blocker anyway, so. All right, well, I'm just going to eat all these guys, I guess. But then they're at four, so. They have five cards in hand? Why do you have so many cards in your hand? 
Draw two cards, then you may discard an on-land card. When you do, it deals four damage to target creature. Okay, so this is weird. Because they haven't announced a target yet, right? So I... So they have to name a target, and then we get to respond again. Yes, and I have to redo it again, because it has been reached. It has been reached. Reach him and breach him. That, that's not a phrase. Okay, so this is a weird... This is weird how this goes. Okay, you're going to go to my Sky Skiff. I might just want to save it. Yeah, I kind of do. What did you discard? A Magus of the Future? Man, get out of here. You magazing me crazy. I'm sorry, you magazing me crazy? Yeah, it didn't work exactly how I wanted it, it to. Didn't, it didn't really, no. I agree with you. I just want to save my Skiff. We're skiffing. I want to skiff it with you. And I hope you like a skiffing too. You know that song? Also, a flick two is great because it's basically unblockable. Like, they, we just attack, they block, and they take two anyway. So, we basically have six power here that's that's going to float on through. Skiff it. Skiff it good. Into shape. Reach him and breach him. <laughs> Oh, God. Sometimes I say things and I'm like, did I say that? I don't even know why I said that. Why did we say that? Is there any card called Reach or Breach on the board? I think I'm having a stroke. Okay, what'd they play? A Seder Wavefinder? Oh boy, this is not, uh... This is not, this doesn't seem ideal. Alright, one, two, three, four. Everybody's keep coming. This, why is our, how is our deck this aggressive? <laughs> I'm putting chat in Howie mode, only mode for the next 60 seconds. Wow. <coughs> Block or do not. Yeah, there you go. All right, so you're still taking six as of right now. If I walked around LA with a t-shirt that said reach him and breach him, I'm pretty sure I'd get <laughs> I think you're probably correct. Stop killing my sky skiff, dude. dude he just wants his dead, man. This isn't fun for anybody. I mean, theoretically, you could play this first. It would have prowessed this guy to keep him alive, and then they'd have one of the fewer blockers, but... We're not in any hurry here. Like, they're, we're way ahead, so I, I didn't really feel like that was necessary. Deck is aggro because it has creatures instead of dinking around with Sphere of the Suns. Wow, that's, I mean, that's that's hurtful to Sphere of the Suns. Uh, no blocks. I'll take two. And I guess you're going to wrath the board here, and then we're going to feel real dumb, but... Wait, what just happened? What the hell? What does this card do again? Apparently makes two morphs. But did it like, does it trade itself to do that? Or does it, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like real confused. I guess I completely missed that part of the card. If Flick says if it's blocked, it deals that much damage. So whenever this creature becomes blocked, defending player loses two life because it's afflict was two. Oh, I see. Well, that's not going to do it because we have two, two, two flyers, but I appreciate your manifest and turn it face down and mix them up. Oh, so, oh, that's interesting. Okay. So now either one could be the Jess guy float, float brooder. I don't think that's the name of the card, but that's what we're going to call it. So you have one flyer. Oh, what? They just conceded? Apparently. The old tap a bunch of mana concede? That's a classic. <coughs> All right. When it's. All right, I want to move this out of the way. Um, exile Shut it in the top more. card of your library in a face-down pile. Shuffle that pile to the manifest. Okay, so you're just putting the two cards. Everyone's going Howie crazy, so you might as well get some dinner. <laughs> Honey's Joker, thank you so much, buddy. appreciate it. You are the best. All right, so let's go to the begin sideboard. What are you doing, man? 
Stop playing with that. God, you're like a child. This is why I can't take you anywhere. <laughs> he just keeps doing it. I don't care. God, uh, man, I gotta do something. Yeah, you're interacting with other human beings and having conversations. and. Yeah, but uh, my hands. <sighs> I can't. I'm just gonna submit like this, man. When this enters the battlefield, you lose a life. It's an enchantment that gives plus three, plus one. Like, do you really need to lose a life? I mean, I get that your flavor is important, but that just doesn't... You know, they say idle hands, devil stands. <laughs> I am familiar with idle hands, devil stands, so... Chad, I'm blanking something. What's Mike's name? Butter again? Uh, it's Bobby Butters. Keep. <laughs> oh god. This hand seems like a mulligan. I kept it. Really? Yeah. Look, now we got this guy to crew on a skiff. Wow. Well. On turn seventeen, that'll be great. I know it was goofing on Sphere of the Suns earlier, but why are we not splashing Officer Owl? We don't have any we don't have a Sphere of the Suns. And his name is Police Hawk, thank you. But Officer Owl is very good. Thank you. Kerwit, what's going on, my dude? Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. I really appreciate it. I expected no less from you. I watch Frank now every day. I work for the last year and some time. Wow. Clipper agent. What a what a lurker. Bobby Butters Buttery Biscuits. Hmm. You can get them at your supermarket. B B B B. <coughs> oh, that's interesting. If you put something in brackets, it comes after my name, so it'll be like Frank before Mike B. That's interesting. That is interesting. This guy doesn't do anything, right? It's just you can just rearrange the cards. Look at the top four and put them in any order. Sure. So if it's like four lands, you just get to rearrange the four lands. Yep. You know what they say, idle hands, devil stands. Wow. The Bobby Butters Better Business Bureau. <laughs> oh my god. Guess someone needs to reach him and breach him to fix it. Jesus. This chat is literally memes. Remember that time that guy was in here and he's like, I'm here for the memes, but where are they? I don't see any memes. Boy. If he showed up today, though, he'd be in for a rude awakening. Meme, a meme awakening, if you will. But don't, don't get me wrong. You don't have to, by any means. Oh, don't have six. <clears throat> Let's get in there. Let's skiff him. Skiff him and riff him. Stop saying things like this. Bobby, what kind of pepper is best to churn into butter? <laughs> Do you mean like the pepper is the butter? Like you want pepper butter? You're not adding pepper to butter, but you're like turning, they're churning the pepper into butter? Who knows, man? Crying out loud. What are they doing here? I don't even know what's going on in this game. Hey, what's your name? Bilbo Butters. What's your name? Oh, Humungulus. Humungulus what? <laughs> that's from, uh, that's a little H3H3 meme there. All right, well, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight perms. <coughs> Our opponent has turn has played two spells by turn five. What was that? Blue Sun Zenith for two? Okay. That was a five mana divination, my dude. Oh, a mountain. Wow. This is getting sassy. <laughs> St. Joel art is everything. <laughs> 
really? That's what you're getting passionate about? You're like, I can't. How many ghost ships are we going to play against in the same draft? That's, that's, that's weird. <clears throat> Why are you weird, ghost ship? Ghost what? Ghost ship! Hmm. Thankfully, all my guys have big old booties. So I have no, no recourse to just attack with everything. And if they block, we can just bounce one of them things. Booty. Actually, we can just kill this. Why didn't I just kill this? You still can. You're right. Don't do that. What? You're just going to jump? Wow, this is great. That actually worked out really well. Yeah, we're definitely... Oh, uh, yeah, we're definitely just killing this thing right now. <laughs> Sorry, Chief. Did we play one of these? Oh, we did. All right. Where's the war, Chief? I thought they would block 2, 4, and 1, 1 here. They prevent a point. Um, or they take one more, but, like, they get to kill this, theoretically. So, I don't know. It seems weird to just chump block there, but I guess they are at 10. What do I know? I'm no expert. They have five cards in hand, so they probably redrew the, um, the blue sun zenith, because that's always what you do. Uh oh, they're gonna do a thing here. <clears throat> Hypothesis. So we just didn't we just face a deck that had hypothesis? It's just the same deck. I is this, this is game one, right? Yeah. Unless I'm really having like a stroke here. No, the first deck was a Jun deck. This is the same deck. Is it? Yeah, this is like round two. We won game one, I think. I have no idea. They dropped a Fertilid. Okay, you're gonna kill this guy. I'm just gonna bounce it. It's too good. It's a 3-4 flyer. Like, I ain't about that. Um, Yeah, I'll keep that on top. That's fine. Yeah, I think I'm just like... All the games run together. I was watching a Luis video where he was like, yeah, well, we got five wins now. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure you just have four wins. I'm pretty sure you just counted around. And then he thought the draft was over. And then he was like, oh, I guess there's more rounds. I had no idea. And I'm like, yes, I knew it. I thought I was going crazy. But I'm pretty sure you just accidentally added a round. And you weren't done. And it was driving me crazy because the whole time he was one off for like three or four rounds. And I was like, no, this is still wrong. One off, one off, Yeah, one we played off. this deck. What is this four color deck? Oh, they can't kick this though because they don't have a second green. Wow. <coughs> I mean, you're playing four colors, ghost ship with regenerate three blue and blue sun zenith with, with three blue. And it's That's just crazy. like, yeah, it's just really, uh, it's greedy. I mean, we can just bounce. I'm just going to silent departure this guy because. Uh, I actually don't consume that much magic content, mostly because I don't have time. And the last thing I want to do is, like, make a lot of magic content during the day and then watch a lot of magic content at night. It's just. It's not that helpful. Do you believe in magic? Revoke. I kind of want to do this again. Just because this card is very, very good. And if they have to keep dealing with it, that's fine. Our, our hand is like mono bounce things. <clears throat> they really leaned into the chaos thing. They sure did. Um, I'm going to put this on the bottom. What do they get? A binding soul eater? Yeah, that's fine. If you want to take two and uh, tap a guy down. It's your world, Bobby Butters. I'm just living it. Like, they're going to two here. And we have a skiff that they can't target. A hexproof guy and uh, we won the match we are we haven't lost a game yet with this deck which I'm actually kind of surprised I didn't think it was that good god damn <laughs> oh man hey you never answered what what pepper you'd use to churn butter probably like Serrano that's my grandpa's deck why though I want you to got a nice flavor the all peppers have a nice flavor dummy maybe that's your opinion what pepper doesn't have a nice flavor what pepper flavor don't you like um. Uh, I wouldn't say I love like a Carolina Reaper flavor because I just don't actually have the capacity to taste it. No, you haven't. You just haven't had it yet. You gotta have it raw. Uh, no, you don't. You don't. I don't think you do. <coughs> when is that happening? When are we gonna eat one of those? Oh, let's play this guy. Let's see if we can hit a swamp. Oh, a Demir Aqueduct. Yes. Yes. Excellent. 
So next time we can play this guy face down, Demir Aqueduct. Oh, baby. That's pretty good. Oh, Brain Bite. Wow. All right. That was a good card back in Alara. Alara Reborn. Morgan, I'm pretty sure you're just a fan of all these all these blue black decks. <coughs> Basically dead. Except for the mutilate aqueduct combo. Yeah, this is actually neg zero, neg zero. It actually hasn't been great in any of these matches. Just because we've we've been so far ahead, but I really didn't think that would be the case when we have a deck full of like one ones and two twos. What do you mean? You got a big boy right there. We have never cast that big boy yet. Yep. Mm. Maybe today's the day. Should I? Do you guys think I should get a potato gun on like Amazon and shoot Mike while we stream? Wow, they took the Demir Aqueduct. That's pretty messed up. That's rude that you can even take lands. <laughs> Joke's on you. Under a swamp anyway. <laughs> Sucker. I mean, Demir Aqueduct would have been pretty good, but you know what? I don't care. I can cast all my spells now. I could cast all my spells now, except for Mutilate. And Hand of Emrakul. <laughs> no, they're not. If it was a pepper gun, I'd say yes. But a potato gun, no. Alright, so should I get a pepper gun and shoot Mike with it while we stream? You can't just keep shooting me. Tell me why. This is illegal. Tell me why, tell me sweet little why. And tell me why. I'm going to put this on the bottom. It's a cool card, but we don't really need it right now and we're kind of ahead. If they want to replay their six drop, I'm game. Or five drop, whatever that thing is. Five four for five is actually not a bad value, especially when it has affinity for forest. Oh, no, it has affinity for forest. So it's actually like a five four for seven, I guess, if they paid full price. Yeah, that's a seven dropper. <clears throat> All right, so... Oh, now you can mutilate. Nice. You can feel it all over. You can feel it all over. McGimp, enjoy your anthem, buddy. God, working at Blizzard playing Anthem. Unbelievable. You okay, man? I'm just making my trumpet noise. It's a really good trumpet noise. Thank you. Made what? it myself. You made the trumpet yourself? Mm -hmm. God, you're like a artist. You're like a trumpet artist. Yeah, well. Oh, they're gonna pay some world. things. Hold up, something's happening. Hold up. Destroy a creature that's one that's one or more colors. Okay, you got it. God, these, these people just haven't been able to deal with this Sky Skiff. Who knew 2-3 Flyers were so problematic? <laughs> if you're going to Pepper Gun Mike, man, I recommend cutting off the eyelids before the, for optimal saturation. You can recommend it. Um, but I don't know if it's... Uh, that's a yikes for me, dog. All right, let's get in there with this 2-3 again, like you do. Oh, you're going to kill this, too? Jesus. All right, well. Time to go wide. Everyone pre-2005? Yeah, that's probably true, actually. Wow, look at all these 3-3 three, three black creatures they just played. Uh, you may return a creature with converted mana cost 3 or less from your graveyard to your hand. They had none. Uh, at the beginning of... Con uh, they don't have... They're not going to They're not gonna combine these. They're never going to have the other half. Destroy a, a white creature. Okay, so these are just both blank 3-3s, three apparently. So we could actually... Play Mutilate here for 3. It kills our board, but it, kill uh, it doesn't kill this guy. If we attack with everything, they just block the three biggest guys, right? They block 5-4 to 2-2. Two, two. This guy they take two from. They block here, and then they die. Yeah, that, that's just game. Unless they let this guy and this guy through, and they block these three. But then they, we still have this guy on board. Hmm. 
Like this block here is kind of sad, but I guess we could just also play like Uh, we have Pristine Talisman as usual, so that's our way to... So they're just going to block here, here, and here, right? And they let these two through. But then this guy just kills them next turn, no matter what. Unless they have a removal spell, but like they're really priced into having it. <clears throat> Alpha then Mutilate doesn't seem great, because then we just lose all our guys, and they lose all their guys, and then it's parity. I mean, I'd rather just keep this guy alive and force them to have an answer for it. Mutilate pre-combat to prowess the elemental. That's true. But it also kills the uh, the eternal. I called him oh, I think they just killed themselves. Oh, I think they're dead. Yeah, okay. That was that was bad blocks. That, those were not the correct blocks. These were not the blocks you were looking for. Man, Afflict is a hell of a drug. Alright, so they had a bunch of removal, so I'm actually tempted to bring, like, Negate or Duress in. <clears throat> probably take out mutilate actually i think that might be or we can they got a lot of big dudes maybe we just keep the mutilate in and like play around it we'll take out some of the smaller creatures in our deck i really like all the smaller creatures in our deck though no uh, mutilate's gonna be bad for us i'll take this hand of emerald out how about that sure and i'll just bring in the gate thank you nephi nephilim it was pretty late <clears throat> but we did have the dream <coughs> we hope to be able to play it. Oh, this hand is great. Oh, we're on the draw, though. <clears throat> I hate being on the draw with with bounce lands. Yeah, it's a little awkward unless you have a one or two drop. Which we do not. Yikes. The Shadows, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. I don't like it. Actually, let's just play Swamps and then play nothing, and then we can just hope to mutilate and get, like, two or three guys. Oh, well, that's actually good, too. I'm going to keep playing Swamps, though, because we don't need the island yet. <clears throat> and we can also just play Humungulus and have four Swamps. Like, we can just go Humungulus off of these five lands. Sacrifice it. Sure, that's fine. Is that 2-2 two -two Flyer for four? Yeah, you got it. So if they play another thing, we might just mutilate here. And then we might mutilate and then Demir Aqueduct, which seems pretty good. I'm serving people beer at night, and I'm loving it. That actually seems <clears throat> pretty good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're just definitely mutilating here. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That was gas. All right. <clears throat> so now we can play Dowser of Light next turn, or Humungulus. Probably Dowser. No follow-up, either. Actually, we'll play Humongous because it can't be targeted. Next turn, if we play this guy, we can keep up in the gate. So that's pretty good. Have you seen Green Room? I have not. I don't even. What does this do? Exile two cards from your graveyard, return a creature from your graveyard to your hand. So you have to have three creatures in your graveyard, or three cards in your graveyard. That's actually pretty good. Um, but not good enough for me to not attack you. Dowser of Lights, do Mike, you look about to pass out. That's literally his default look. That is my default look. If he's awake before 5 p.m., he's actually not awake. So something like that. Do 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 do. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. We literally have nine mana here. This is the one game we would have been able to actually play Hand of Emerald pretty easily. And uh, we don't have it. Mike has resting rest face. Don't we all? No. Oh, wow. They didn't even do anything. Um, I actually don't even care about this. <clears throat> like, we have to have another creature that's actually going to... Yeah, we can just put that on the bottom. But he's won with so many games. We mulliganed hand out, though. That's the problem. Uh, enchanted creature doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. I'm actually just, we're just going to silent departure for that and keep the negate. One pass out buck. <laughs> wow. Mike's like, I gotta keep moving, otherwise I won't be able to stay awake. Okay, so, uh, I'm just going to silent this guy and then replay one, two, one, two, three, four. <clears throat> it's 
still time. All right, fine. You're right. There is still time. You're right. You're right. I don't think, a link in the chat. I don't think it's true. I think we just won the entire draft and didn't drop a game. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Wow, that was pretty insane. I had no idea that deck was going to do what it did. That that was nuts. 6-0. Didn't drop a game. If you guys are watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. But if you guys are watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam the like and subscribe button. Check me out at MeUndies.com slash FrankLapore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And you can also check out Twitch and profile or <laughs> Patreon. The links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it.